Informed Beauty, Sugar Guinness Marie here, and so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top four lip care products. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Eunice Marie, and my channel all about informative beauty from skincare, hair care, makeup, DIYs, all that fun stuff. If you're not subscribed to my channel, girl, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so you're notified when I upload. And if you like what I do here on my channel, give your girl a big thumbs up and share me with the world, okay? So I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys my four lip care products because I have found a brand finally that has really has been a go-to brand for me to grab the basics like lip treatments, lip glosses, lip oils, uh, chapstick or lip balms at least and it's been kind of frustrating for me because I will find a product and I will find maybe one one product from a line that I really liked but there was never products from a line collectively that I really liked but I really wanted to build a good skincare regimen for my lips just like I did any other part of my body or my face so I came across Burt's Bees and so first thing first from Burt's Bees that I tried that I fell in love with was their vanilla bean moisturizing lip balm it looks like this and this is like my fourth or my fifth tube I really do like this stuff it smells amazing if you don't know vanilla is my favorite scent and it comes in a regular lip balm tube just like any other tube and so I will leave prices and everything on the screen down below for you guys but you can buy them solo one at one by itself or you can buy it in a double pack so I really do love this stuff it keeps my lips very moisturized it keeps my lips um it's not like the moisture like Carmex you know how Carmex you put Carmex on and like five seconds later your lips are like dry this is not the problem at all um, I can pair this with my lipsticks. I can pair this with my actual lip oils and my lips stay hydrated. So these are 100% natural. They do have uh, sunflower seed oil in it, coconut oil in it, um, beeswax. It has castor oil in it, um, cocoa butter. It has soybean oil in it. Uh, rosemary leaf extract it has vanilla so it has a lot of great things in it for you to care for your um, lips and so I really do like this as my go-to lip balm hands down I love it all right next thing after that that I tried was their lip glosses now I like a regular old lip gloss that I can grow throw on a very neutral lip gloss that I can throw on um, you guys know that I'm not big big fan of lip glosses but these really stole <laughs> they sold the show for me and as you can see I have two of them that I am already down on. I need to go and buy more but these are the Burt's Bees 100% natural lip shine and these bad boys I love them and this color is let me see what color is this whisper if you guys can see it on the back here, the color is Whisper and I have it in two of them. So that's the only, this is the only color that I get from this line is Whisper because I like a nice natural looking lip gloss that I can throw on when I'm out the door or when I'm out at work or I'm out doing errands, whatever. Something that I can throw on that's going to give myself, give my lips that shine. Now, these here... I, I love them all the way around. I have to be careful not to put too much on because if you put too much on, they can cake up like on the lip or whatnot. But once again, I'm able to pair these along with my lip balm and it works out perfectly or I can wear these by themselves and they work out perfectly. Like my lips remain very moisturized, okay? And I forgot how much this price point is. Once again, I will leave everything down below for you guys to go and check out. And then the ingredients on this one... Castor seed oil, sunflower seed oil, uh, apricot oil, shea butter. Um, a lot of great benefits or great ingredients in these as well. So this is my favorite lip gloss or lip shine from Burt's Bees and I need to go and get some more. All right. The next thing that I tried from them was this overnight lip treatment. Because the thing about it too is that I wanted something to kind of... More of like a treatment, okay? I wanted something that was going to be a treatment for my lips because my lips do get really dry at times. They peel at times. And so I came across this, and this is the overnight lip treatment. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It looks exactly like this. And you guys can see I have been using this. And I also use this throughout the day. I don't just use it overnight. I use it throughout the day. It looks like that. 
Now, this here, I like it, but if I was to compare it to my lip balm, I would prefer my lip balm over this, but this does do a great job of keeping my lips moisturized and it's lightweight and it's nothing heavy. I prefer to use this when I am applying a lip, uh, a matte lipstick underneath my lips or uh, any type of lipstick if it's not matte. I prefer this because this just has more of a moisturizing hold to it than the lip balm does, but the lip balm does just fine, but I preferably grab towards this to just make sure that my lips ha my lips have the most moisture they can have while I'm wearing a matte lip or any other type of lipstick like that. And lastly, my last new love, oh, you guys, when I saw this, I was like, I have to get my hands on this. I have to give it a try. I have to see if this works for me. And it was their hydrating lip oil. Now I got the one in almond oil. You guys know I love almond oil over anything else and they also had one in passion fruit but I really want to try the one that was in um the almond oil because I really do like almond oil so I like this now if you guys are wanting to know what's on my lips currently I have the lip balm on my lips and this is on top of that okay so I do compare these a lot of the times together and it just gives me an overall hydration. So if you guys can see, my lips are really hydrated. And it looks like a lip gloss, but it's a lip oil. I will share with you guys the consistency of it really quickly. Um, and at first, when you think of a lip oil, you're like, uh-oh, that can be troublesome, right? But the lip oil is like, it's oil, but it's not like a runny oil, if you know what I mean. So if you can see it on my hand right here... It's a oil, but it's very lightweight. It's hard to show you guys, but you see it is very lightweight. It's a nice little shine. And it's like, it's a little thick. It's not something that is like a runny oil where it's gonna get all over your face or anything, because you guys know I'm already oily prone. But it's a nice um, medium texture. It's not too thick, not too thin, okay? And the thing about it too, because I was like, what is in this that's making it kind of thicker? It's that coconut oil. I think they have coconut oil in here as well. I threw away the box that had all the ingredients on it. But I love this. And like my lip balm, if I'm all, my lip, instead of using like my lip shine, if I'm all out, I definitely can use this and pair this with, um a lip balm now i wouldn't wear this over like lipsticks or under lipsticks or matte lips because that kind of defeats the purpose but i think overall as an extra lip sealant this is a great product so you guys those are all of my favorite products right now lip wise from burt's bees the weather has been really chilly outside really cold outside and um these products really do help together collectively to keep my lips as moist as they can possibly be and um, they're all healthier options versus other options out there, and they work. And I just like the fact that I'm able to find <clears throat> collectively things from one group, one brand that I'm able to enjoy, okay? So with that being said, you guys, all uh, information will be down below, all price points, everything I talked about here. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is your girl, Eunice Marie. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys in a later video. Bye.